Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Blue Cube channel. In this video, as part of our Adobe Animate Animation series, I'll show you how to design doors and animate them opening and closing. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss future tutorials. Alright, first we're going to design the door, but of course, the door needs a wall, and we'll also create the ground. So, I'll start by selecting the rectangle tool. I'll set the zoom level to 75% so I can see more of the stage. Next, I'll pick a color for the ground, let's choose a darker tone. For example, I'll use this one. Then, I'll draw a rectangle large enough to cover the entire camera frame. Now I'll lock this layer so it doesn't move. Next, I'll create another layer for the wall. Again, I'll select the rectangle tool, go to the fill color section, and change its color. This color will be for the wall. I'll draw a rectangle like this, that looks about right for the wall. Now, an important point, since we're going to create a door, we need to pay attention to how the wall is drawn. After you've drawn the wall, select it with the free transform tool. When you click once, you'll notice it only shows the fill. But if you click again or double click, it will show both the fill and stroke. Why does this happen? Because when your shape is in object drawing mode, Adobe Animate treats it as an object, so it shows both fill and stroke. However, for creating a door inside the wall, we only want the fill to be selected when we click, not both. Let me show you. If I delete this wall and draw another rectangle while object drawing mode is enabled, then when I click it, both fill and stroke are selected, meaning I can't cut the door from the wall. So I'll delete it again, select the rectangle tool, and make sure object drawing mode is turned off. Now, when I draw the wall and click on it, only the fill is selected perfect for cutting out the door. That's a very important step. Next, I'll set the view to fit and stay on the wall layer. I'll use the rectangle tool again to draw the door, something like this. You can make the door larger or smaller depending on your preference. For me, this size works fine. Right now, I just want to cut out the door shape from the wall. I'll click on it with free transform once selects the fill, and double click selects both fill and stroke. Now, if I drag the door shape downward, you'll see that it cuts through the wall, leaving an opening, we've created both the wall and the door opening. Now I'll cut, Ctrl plus X, this door shape and paste, Ctrl plus V, it into a new layer, our third layer. To ensure that both fill and stroke are always selected when we click the door, I'll undo once, double click it, and convert it to an object. Now, each time I click, both fill and stroke are selected. Let's change the door color, I'll pick a new color that fits better. That looks good. I'll rename this layer door so we can easily recognize it. Next, I'll position the door precisely inside the wall opening. Since my door was a bit larger, I'll zoom in to align it properly. Using the free transform tool, I'll hold alt and drag the side so that the door and wall edges align perfectly. I'll do the same for the other side, holding Alt and adjusting the alignment. Now, while on this door layer, I'll lock the wall layer so it doesn't move accidentally. Then, using the oval tool, I'll draw a small ellipse on the door, this will be the doorknob. I'll select it, convert it to an object, and place it in position. Let's change its color slightly and make it smaller, perfect. Now I'll select both the door and the knob, and convert them together into a single object, so if we move the door, the knob moves with it. Perfect, our door design is complete. Now let's move on to the animation. I'll extend the timeline by adding some frames, right-click and choose Insert Frame to create them.
At frame 1, I'll insert a keyframe, F6. Then, around frame 15 or 20, I'll insert another keyframe. The fewer frames between them, the faster the door will open or close. For now, I'll use frame 20. At frame 20, I'll select the door, hold Ctrl plus Shift, and slightly stretch it from the corner, that looks good. Then, using the free transform tool, I'll move the rotation pivot point to the side edge of the door that will act as the hinge. Now, I'll rotate the door open from that point, and there we go. When the door opens, it looks flat as if it has no thickness. So, let's fix that by adding a side edge. I'll create a new layer, select the rectangle tool, and draw a thin rectangle on top, representing the edge of the door. Zoom in to align it properly. Make sure to double-click and convert it to an object so the fill and stroke move together. I'll move down to the lower part of the door. While holding the Alt key, I'll adjust the edges. Then I'll zoom out a little to get a better view. Now, while holding Alt, I'll make a copy of this keyframe. In this keyframe, I'll adjust the section that adds thickness to the door. So that when the door closes, it looks more natural and realistic. I'll zoom in slightly, and again, while holding Alt. I'll fine tune the edges to make sure they align properly. Finally, I'll place the edges on top of each other. So that when the door closes, its thickness becomes hidden naturally. Now I'll zoom out again. I'll right click on these frames and select Create Shape Tween. Then I'll repeat the same step for the door layer as well. Now you'll see that the door opens smoothly, just like that. Press play, and the door opens beautifully. If we want the door to close again, here's what to do. Select all the keyframes, hold Alt, and drag them to where you want the closing to happen. Then, right-click and select Reverse Frames. Now, when we play it, the door opens and then closes naturally. You can test it by pressing Ctrl plus Enter, and you'll see the full animation, the door opens, pauses briefly, and then closes nicely. And that's it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, and if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Until the next video, goodbye for now.